Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's old Pappy again. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, so today you're probably wondering, well, I came here to watch a Ming video. I've came here to see um, this mighty Ming, this flying Titan, and what I'm looking at is a mender with some uh, uh, shotguns and uh, and a cryo weapon. What the heck's going on, Pappy? What's going on, man? Well, I'll tell you what's going on. Um, anybody that knows me, I've been playing since 2014. Uh, I don't know everything about the game, but I know a few things. And one of the things I love to do, and it probably gets me into a lot of trouble, actually, is to get on the Facebook pages and have debates with guys. And, uh, you know, I've, got, I've known guys like Adrian, uh, the YouTuber, for years and years, and uh, we were former clan mates and stuff like that. And, and I know a lot of the other guys, a lot of the old school guys on uh, the Facebook pages, and I really respect them. And I, I, I really, uh, you know, I think they have a lot of great things to say about the game. One of the things, though, that's been kind of secretly driving me a little bit crazy recently is all this Arthur talk. Now, I like King Arthur, man. I like, you know, I studied it in university. I, I, I loved Merlin and all the Knights of the Shining round table and all that stuff. Great. But I'm telling you right now, if you only have so much platinum to spend in the game, why would you want to spend it on a slow, clunky tank that can't cap beacons? And if it does get to one beacon, it can't get to another beacon fast enough to cap another one. Um, everybody talks about its um, its big fart maneuver where it stamps its feet and a big uh, gust of wind comes and blows you over. That's fine too. Um, all good, you know, I guess for, to each his own. Myself, I've always loved the flying robots. You know, back before the flying robots existed, I really loved the Griffin. It was my favorite and the Rogatka because you could jump in the air and do all these cool aerial maneuvers, right? Well, once they introduced the flying dragons, I just kind of fell in love with them. So I have, uh, you know, I have one hanger that I bring out, um, you know, quite a bit just for my own fun. Um, and it's all flying dragons. White dragons, there's the Halloween dragon, there's, um, uh, I have the, you know, the, what the hell is it called? The Oguang or whatever it is, the thing that has the three medium weapons and shoots the, um, shoots the missiles when it flies. And I even have the red dragon, uh, the, um, the O, uh, Kuin Dragon, however you pronounce it. Uh, I have that one. It sucks. I wish it was buffed. Um, it's not. Uh, but long story short, I love these things. And so when they brought out the Titans, and I had a chance to get an, um, the Ming, the giant flying dragon. Are you kidding me, man? I had to get one. And so, you know, I've been, I've been upgrading it and upgrading it and buffing it and buffing it. And I tried, I, I tried um, you know, the machine guns. Don't get me wrong, they're great. Uh, uh, great, great. Uh, the Ming has four weapons. So it's, um, you know, it's, it, it's really powerful with the machine guns. A lot of guys, a lot of clan guys have maxed um, what I would call the Dragoon style weapons for them. Uh, they have 600 meter range, absolutely crazy deadly. I decided to go another route. Now, one of the things I used to love to do as well is play Orcans and play uh, Russian death buttons. I used to love to corner shoot all the time and hit guys with splash, right? Like they're hiding, they think they're safe behind a wall like I'm doing here on the screen right here, hiding on a guy. Well, if he had splash weapons, he could just kind of shoot to either side of me and, and the, the splash would kill me, right? It would take, at least take my health down. And so when they, when they introduced the splash weapons for the dragon, um, the flying Ming dragon, uh, the Tsar, I believe is what it's called, is the, uh, the heavy version of the, of the weapon. Um, the other ones are called whatever it is, look it up. Um, but one of the things I thought was that I want to get these things, I want to try them out. And so... Fast forward to recent times. So I've been playing them for a while, and every day there's a new guy on the Facebook page bragging about the Arthur. Get yourself an Arthur. There's all these noobs and other guys, hey, man, I'm going to get a Titan. What should I get? Everybody jumps in. Get an Arthur. Get an Arthur. Well, I was actually trying to do a video today trying to capture footage using small robots to prove that small robots are viable in the game, right? That's why you're seeing me running around here, um, you know, with little tiny bots, uh, you know, that normally I wouldn't run five of these things in my hangar, but I got them today because I thought I'd try it out. And in this game, um, we actually get quite far behind. And so, um, if, you know, if, you, if you're tired of me talking, jump straight to the eight minute mark when I bring my flying dragon in. And I think you're gonna be shocked at how much damage and how many kills I can get in less than two minutes to literally snatch, um, if not victory, then s snatch a draw out of a game that we should have lost. Now, just to let set, set this up a little bit, let you understand where it's coming from. 
Um, with about with about uh, two minutes left in the game, the score is twenty seven to twenty two for the bad guys. That's right, twenty seven twenty two for the Reds. Um, at up to this point, I have eight kills, but we have less than two minutes to come back, and the clock is ticking. Second after second after second is falling off the clock, and I bring my dragon into the battlefield. It's absolutely insane. So what happens? Well, I get up above everybody. I start taking advantage of my splash weapons. Um, and I basically just start wreaking havoc. And so uh, not to let the cat out of the bag. Um, hopefully you're going to stick around and watch the rest of the video or skip to the eight minute mark if you want to. But I round, um, I round off six kills in less than two minutes and end up ending the game in a draw. We go from 27 to 22 to 28, 28, with me literally landing in front of a guy. And one, if I had had even three more seconds, I could have killed that last guy and we would have won the match. So at the end of the game, I end up with 14 kills, uh, six in two minutes with my flying dragon and three million damage to, to, to salvage a draw out of a game we should have lost. Anyway, if that isn't proof of how powerful the Ming is, I don't know what is. And yes, yes, I'm sure, you know, the Arthur fans, they, they can show me a video where they're doing something great. Um, you know, that's true. You know, this, this video is kind of made tongue in cheek. It's kind of made it fun. So I'm not, I'm not, you know, I don't want to insult guys who love it. Um, you know, play what you want. But what I'm saying is for the guys out there who are wondering what, I, what I, they should spend their hard earned money on, should they spend it on an um, immobile tank that basically can just stand there and fart all game? Or should they get themselves a flying dragon that's super fun to use, super deadly, um, and as you can see in this video, crazy effective? I'm gonna go dragon every single time. So anyway, stick, stick around, we're only about 30 seconds away from the uh, dragon footage starting. Um, I'm gonna put some music on, enjoy the gameplay, uh, and until next time, if you like what you see, please hit the subscribe or the like button, and I'll see you on the battlefield.